Welcome back. Oh, that's, uh, I came in too hot. I came in too hot. Back to Every Disney Movie Ever. My name is Jess and I am watching Every Disney Movie Ever. Today I'm going to talk about Hero in the Family. Hero in the Family is a 1986 magical world of Disney television release. It is directed by Mel Damsky, cinematography by Paul Goldsmith, editing by Stanford C. Allen and Rod Stevens, music by William Goldstein, and it's written by John Trimmer and Jeffrey Loftus. Mel Damsky is best known for Lou Grant, Psych, and American Dream. Paul Goldsmith is best known for Flight Plan, The Lost Boys, Captain Corelli's Mandolin, and America's Endangered Species Don't Say Goodbye. Stanford C. Allen, I covered in the video about the richest cat in the world, the link will be in the description. Rod Stevens is best known for The Greatest American Hero, The Rockford Files, and Nightmares. William Goldstein I covered in the video about Lots of Luck. The link will be in the description. John Drummer is best known for Medal of Honor, Tales from the Dark Side, and War Dogs, America's Forgotten Heroes. Jeffrey Loftus is best known for Tales from the Dark Side and this. The film stars Christopher Collette, Cliff DeYoung, Annabeth Gish, Darlene Carr, M. Emmett Walsh, and Keith Dorman. Christopher Collette plays Benjamin and is best known for Sleepaway Camp, The Manhattan Project, The Langoliers, and Prayer for the Roller Boys. Cliff DeYoung plays Dicker and I covered him in the video about Flight of the Navigator. The link will be in the description. Annabeth Gish plays Jesse and she's best known for Mystic Pizza, Nixon, Beautiful Girls, and Before I Wake. Darlene Carr plays Lisa and she's best known for Magnum P.I., The Streets of San Francisco, Simon and Simon, and The Jungle Book. M. Emmett Walsh plays General Presser and is best known for Blood Simple, Blade Runner, The Jerk, and Critters. Keith Dorman plays Ralph and is best known for Gotham, From Earth to the Moon, A Night at the Table, and Rock Island. It's a monkey movie! It's also a space movie. The way I find myself describing this movie is it's brave meets Freaky Friday. I shall explain. The film is about a dad and a son. The dad is a really famous astronaut named Digger Reed. He was the youngest person to walk on the moon and he's gone to the moon, well not the moon, just space a lot and he's a really famous pilot and everyone knows who he is. So he's really famous and the kid ain't about that because his dad is kind of a turd blossom. So Benjamin hates being recognized for his dad because his dad's kind of a turd blossom and doesn't really pay him any attention or really parent him. He's just like, haha, I'm a really cool dad and I'm gonna make you be exactly like me and blah, 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 blah. And Benjamin Benjamin hates that, naturally. Well, the dad, whose name is Digger, is being sent on another space mission with a monkey named Orville. On this mission in space, they're supposed to retrieve samples from this ring around the earth that is made up of rocks or crystals. Crystals? And when they do something mysterious happens, and when they land back on earth, Digger isn't himself and Orville's acting crazy. Y'all, they switched bodies. It was a real Freaky Friday moment. It took me about 30 seconds to realize they switched bodies. The NASA people never figure it out. Benjamin, however, realizes his dad is inside a monkey and spends the rest of the movie trying to correct it. Brave. Come on, Brave meets Freaky Friday. Um, okay. Anyway, at the end, Benjamin proves that he's like really good at physics by recreating the whole environment and making his dad and the monkey switch back. And his dad says, you are more a hero than I will ever be. And I cried. Couple things, every white boy protagonist in the 80s sounds exactly the same. So every time one of them speaks, I think they're a young Patrick Dempsey, but they're really not. But they do kind of look like him. They got a little bit bigger of a nose. They got some curly hair going on and I have no idea what's happening. And then I'm like, wait, it's not Patrick Dempsey. Okay, that's fine, I guess. The music was incredible. It reminded me of the Chipmunk Adventure. Did anyone ever see that movie? Because it's amazing if you haven't. Chipmunk adventure they fly around the world in hot air balloons and collect dolls filled with diamonds and money like hello it's awesome anyway i digress the music was like that which is fire and i loved it the cinematography was also pretty prime and the story itself was really entertaining i was glued from beginning to end i really thought i was gonna hate it because it was a monkey movie but i didn't actually hate it i it wasn't the most amazing film ever made but as for a television movie so far of all the television movies i've been watching lately this one kept my attention for the entirety of it i thought i was gonna be really bored and i wasn't so that's awesome hero in the family was a surprise for me i wasn't expecting to cry i wasn't expecting it to be that much heart in a film especially with a monkey because the last monkey movie I'm pretty sure was the barefoot executive which is fine but I was over monkey movies at that point and I feel like I'm still kind of over monkey movies also we've been watching a lot of animal movies and there are more to come obviously anyway I digress I think I'm gonna give it like a six because it wasn't like seven material you know seven's pretty dang good but it definitely is above average so I'm gonna give it like a six monkeys I, which I know I've used before out of 10 because it was pretty fun, but it wasn't amazing, but it did give me to cry. So six monkeys out of 10. Our total movie count is 
our cry count is. <laughs> Parent death toll is still the same. If you want to keep up with the movie I'm watching when, follow me on Instagram and Twitter and you will find out what movie I'm watching when. I put up videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Until next time, comment, like, subscribe, and I'm not sure if you are, so you do, and don't be general presser about it. <laughs> Music by William Goldstein, and it's written by John Drimmer and Jeffrey Loftus. <laughs> the music is by William Goldstein and it's written by John Drimmer and Jeffrey Loftus. <laughs> oh my God. Paul Goldsmith is best known for Flight Plan. <laughs> I already forgot. Stanford C. Allen, I covered in the video about the richest cat in the world. <laughs> Slave it.